Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Carpet Labs, talking about current, voltage and resistance. So three of the fundamental properties or, or things that we can know about an electrical circuit, um, and then we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at each one. So we're going to spend some time doing some definitions for looking at each of these three terms. Current, which has the symbol of I, voltage has the symbol of V, and resistance with the symbol R. And then we're going to discuss how we can measure each one of these. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off by thinking about current. Okay, so perhaps one of the, the easier ones for us to understand when we're thinking about um, electricity. So, when we're thinking about current, we're thinking about the amount of flow. Um, that is, the, essentially we're thinking about the number of, char of charged particles Uh, per second. Okay, so thinking about, um, so when it's flowing through the circuit, how much of that charge is flowing? That is, how many charged particles are we flowing past a given point for every second that it's flowing? Okay, um, it has the symbol uh, when in, in terms of um, how we would represent it, it has the symbol of I. Don't ask me why they, they picked that, but uh, C was already taken. Okay, so that, that's part of the reason here. Um, so that um, it has the symbol of I, and so it's measured in a unit called amperes, which is known as amps for short, um, and is given the unit, the, the, the symbol of A for its unit. You know, so maybe we might be talking about a, a you know, a current of 1.5 amps. Okay, and so we would write it like that, capital A. Okay, so the amount of flow, that is the number of charged particles for every second. Now, let's go quickly think about voltage. Okay, um, so voltage. Okay, so the voltage is um, the energy carried by the current. Okay, so if we're thinking about that it's flowing through, how much energy is that transferring? Um, so we're thinking about it in terms of energy transfer. How much energy is it transferring as it moves through the circuit? Um, so maybe tra um, transferred as um, it flows through the circuit. given um, we are thinking about this in the context of energy transfers, that the higher the voltage, so we're thinking higher voltage, um, more it, it leads to more energy transferred. Okay, so um, you would have experienced that if you had a chance to use the power packs, um, the, if you, as you turn the voltage up, that um, things that are connected to that circuit get more energy going through them, like a, a light globe will, will glow brighter at higher voltages. Okay, so it's given the symbol of V, um, and it's also, so it's measured in, um, in units called uh, volts, which has the symbol of a capital V. So its symbol as a property and its symbol of its units are the same, you know, so when you plug something into our, um, a wall socket, it has an energy of 240 volts, okay, which is much, much higher than the maximum that we would use here in the lab, which is 12 volts. Um, so the idea being that, that something plugged into one of our um, power packs it gets much less energy than it would if it was plugged directly into the wall. Okay. Now let's have a little think about um, resistance, and then we're going to talk about the instruments that we can use to measure each of these, these um, properties of a circuit. Okay. So we're thinking resistance. Okay. No, it's not soldiers, you know, rising up again. It's an occupying force, or you know, any Star Trek reference or whatever. Okay. So that is it's this idea of the resistance to flow in a circuit. Okay. So when we're thinking about current that's flowing around a circuit and how much that that flow is. And when thinking about the voltage, that is how, how much energy that that is transferring, 
that there are things in the circuit which slow the current down. So the slow down the current. Okay, so if we're thinking about, you know, like maybe we're thinking about an electrical wire like being, being like a pipe that we're getting water kind of flowing through, there would be points at which the pipe would narrow. Okay, before then maybe it widens that back out again. Okay, so as it's coming through, it has to slow down. It's being, it's being slowed down um, as it moves through the pipe, and then it can speed back up again, or it can, um, it can spread back out as it passes through the other side. Okay, so this is our point of resistance. That's the blockage or the, the choke point or the, the point at which that that current cannot flow quite as fast there. Okay, it's given the symbol of a capital letter R, and it's measured in units called ohms, O-H-M-S, which is given the symbol of the Greek letter omega, okay, ohms for omega, omega was the final letter in the, the alphabet in Greek, you know, in, in the Bible it talks about Jesus being the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, because alpha is the first letter, omega is the last letter, okay, so we have current, voltage, and resistance, okay, so now let's have a quick a very quick kind of go over how these things are measured in a circuit. Okay, so okay, so current, voltage, and resistance. Sorry, my handwriting is deteriorating. I'm just trying to not spend too much of your life on this video. Okay, so current, it's uh, measured using a device called an ammeter. Okay. Um, we give that the symbol of an A in an electrical circuit when we plug it in. Voltage is measured using a device called a voltmeter, and it's given a symbol of a, a V. Um, now, we don't have, or at least if we have it, I don't know it, um, a symbol for the, the device we use to measure resistance, which is called an ohmmeter, because normally it's not something that would be um, directly connected to a circuit. You can measure um, the, the resistance. Um, we might use it, um, so think about an ohm meter. There are devices that you can, that you can buy um, that electricians and handymen and stuff would use um, called a multimeter, uh, which is a, a device that, um, so I'll just put a question mark there just to reflect that uncertainty there, um, but don't worry that you don't know what that is. Um, that, so a multimeter can measure um, current, voltage, or resistance in a circuit in all sorts of different settings. Um, so it's the sort of thing that, um, you know, if you're, if, if someone, you know, close to you, mum, dad, grandpa, grandma, whoever, is very handy around the house and does stuff to do with electrical work, or maybe you want, they're an electrician, um, they would almost certainly have one of these and um, that you can use to measure all sorts of things there. Okay, so a combination of, of these devices. Okay, so current measured with an ammeter in units of amps. Uh, voltage measured by a voltmeter in units of volts. V, amps, V capital A. And then resistance measured using an ohmmeter in units of ohms, which have the symbol of omega. Alright, that wraps things up. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.